Hello, uh, my name is Alicia. Uh, you probably already know that. And the strategy and activity I used was the VARC learning style, where I used visuals, oral, or talked about it orally, reread and write, and did some kine kin kinesics. So for my, the visual self alone was the book and the eyes. So that helped. And then to hear him, I explained to my student what symbolism is and how the eyes were a symbolism within this book. And in terms of the reading writing portion, we read a paragraph when they entered the valley and the eyes were first mentioned within the book. And my student kept on questioning, why am I learning this? And I'm like, let me tell you what symbolism is, symbolism is and I explained symbolism to him. And then he asked me, what's the purpose? And I told him there's many symbolisms. He's a big football fanatic. So I explained how like the logos are also a symbol for a team. So yes. All right. Now to answer the questions. Um, how did you feel about teaching the activity strategy teaching? I felt like it was effective in terms of like he did comprehend it and he didn't understand it. And he has a better understanding what symbolism was because beforehand he did not know what it was. Um, was your student engaged or motivated to participate? He's my little brother and in terms he wasn't, but he still tried. He did have effort and he did um, do what was asked of him. So yes. Um, was your preparation for the implementations of the activity sufficient or you think you could have done something different? In terms of like doing this in an actual classroom, I believe what I would have done differently is instead of doing it mostly like things around me, I would have like further prepared a PowerPoint to make it more memorable for the student. Uh, about the activity. What did you like about it? I liked that um, it allowed my student to engage within the novel and look at it, um, Fitzgerald's work because yes, this book is a great one and it has a lot of symbolism to it. If we had more, we could have gone to very different um, standards within the book, but we just went over the main one, which is like the obvious, like the eyes, it's in the front page. We could have just uh, discussed the t-shirts or the green light, but we didn't have enough time. Um, the third, what learning would students obtain by playing or practicing your activity strategy? This is, um, I like this activity because people comprehend things differently. You, know, you see it, you hear it, you do it and i know this or you read or write it so this activity goes to to all four of those and each and it goes for each student so each student will be engaged and each student will be able to comprehend that information based on what they do best whether it's seeing it hearing it doing it or writing or reading it so yes how would you add technology to this activity so when I was in school versus when the kids now, a uh, major thing is um, is like tablets and computers were more accessible than versus when I was there. I think a way to add technology to this would be in terms of when analyzing text and there you need to look for a certain f like sentence or phrase. I like for example, if they need to look for a simile and they're like scanning and they can't find it, just control find like or as or look for metaphors in a some a quicker way. Like it's not a form of cheating, but I feel like it is. And another form of technology is like now we have Google Google Classroom and Google Docs and able to share Google Docs. So like before class, but during the lesson, I asked I would ask them like okay from the text. Um, write your questions down so it, everybody can share their opinions if they don't feel like doing it out loud because shyness is a very um, large thing there. So yes, hopefully I do get to implement this strategy in the classroom one day.